Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Deb on the Web. I'm Debbie, and I'm super excited to show you the interesting things I found on the internet today. Though some may ruin your childhood, and I do apologize for that, but internet. So, entertainment purposes only, of course. Take everything with a grain of salt and do your own research. I will always urge that. And without further ado, let's get to it. You made it! <laughs> Take her to the moon for me, okay? Okay, I know that you can go in the castle. I'm aware I've been inside. However, I also do recall being a child and thinking that that was not something we had access to. Is it just me? Well, obviously not, because it's on TikTok, but do you also think that was the case when we were younger? I don't know. I don't know. Onward. We watch Disney movies. Tell you what's the worst part about television. Walt Disney, right? And many people that will preach against the TV, they'll preach against the movies, they'll preach against Hollywood because it's obvious that that stuff is bad. But then they'll say, well, but we watch Disney movies. And I've been to the home of preachers and Christians who would never watch TV or the movies, but yet they have the whole library of the Walt Disney movies. You know, the ones of them lined up, of course. I don't know how many there are, but there's hundreds of them. They have them lined up and, and lined up, and they have their kids watching those movies all day long. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to prove to you right now that those movies are wicked. I say, what? Disney movies? Come on, you're crazy. They're rated G. Well, let's see. First of all, did you know this? Did you know that Disney movies are filled with subliminal messages? What are we talking about tonight? Uh, getting inside your mind and messing with you. Uh, controlling your thought process by, by uh, supernatural means or demonic means. Or Hey, I'm going to tell you something. Disney movies are filled with subliminal messages. And you say, oh, that's a hoax. I've seen it with my own eyes. When I was a teenager, I had a friend of mine sit me down at his house and show me the subliminal messages in the Disney movies. They're filled with subliminal messages. Let me give you some examples. The Lion King, filled with subliminal messages, hidden in the movie. Like you'll be watching the movie and just for a few seconds, something filthy will come on. Like off to the side, there'll be some kind of a, you know, reproductive anatomy will, will pop up. Virtually every Disney movie is packed with hundreds of subliminal messages to program the, the minds of your children. In the movie Aladdin, uh, there's, a, there's a part in the movie where the guy, the, what's his name, Aladdin? There's a point in the movie where he tells Jasmine to take all her clothes off. But you don't even know it unless you know it's there. You listen to it and he mumbles it kind of under his breath. So how's our little bow doing? the subliminal message just the message of the disney movies is perverted even if you just forget the subliminal message i mean for example, what, what movies did we bring up the little mermaid you know a half animal half human being and that's perverted in and of itself all throughout the bible every false god is a half animal half human being they're constantly merging of animals and human beings and every disney movie is pretty much based on the merging of a human being with an animal it's described in the bible and and uh, the the movie The Little Mermaid, you know, she's topless the whole time, right? She's just Satanism, witchcraft. There's some what is it, Ursula, some witch that's casting spells and and using sorcery and demonism. Beauty and the Beast is a movie about a woman who falls in love with an animal. And in the movie, they keep acting like, well, he's just ugly. He's not ugly. He's an animal. But there's a difference between being ugly and being a beast, being an animal. And if you've seen the if you've seen the cartoon, it's an animal. It's like a Oh wow. And you say, well, what's wrong with that? Uh, read the Bible sometime. Hey guys, it's Jared. I pray this video is indoctrination of our children through subliminal messages in Disney movies. I understand that you may not believe this, but when you look into who is making these movies and you see the fruits of their labor, it all makes sense. Walt Disney was a Freemason obsessed with the occult, 
and use his movies and his theme parks as a tool to indoctrinate the public into his beliefs. Club 33 in the Disneyland parks is symbolic of the 33rd degree of masonry. The symbolism is also put into the Disney movies. Symbolism. Disney also displays its corrupt satanic agenda through programming of their idols. They introduce innocent stars that slip under parents' radar and build up a fan base. As the idols get older, they corrupt them and send them on a crash. Some of the artistic decisions are pretty hard to deny. I mean, we can all go back and pause them, especially those of us with some of the VHS tapes and access to a VHS player. I think it went a little off the rails there with some of the creator's logic, though. Um, first of all, not all Disney movies are about half beast, half humanoid things. That's not true. And Beast was just a beast because of a spell. He was still actually human. And Ariel is not topless. She's wearing a shell, seashell bikini. Some reaches, but obviously we have all we all had that friend when we were a kid who brought us over and was like, check out what I saw. And they paused it and you're like, oh, it's kind of hard to deny when it happens over and over and over and over and over again. Though. probably heard the conspiracy theory that Walt Disney's head was cut off and cryogenically frozen, so here's the whole tea about that rumor and why it even exists. The creator of Disney died in 1966 of lung cancer, but he was always obsessed with the idea of the future and what it would look like. And he even created Epcot originally as the experimental prototype community of tomorrow to give insight of how people would live in the future. I'd give anything to be there with you. So as he knew his time was coming, the president of the Cryonic Society confirmed that Walt Disney called him to express interest in getting frozen and working on the details. Walt notably loved the book The Prospect of Immortality, and eerily enough, at the very end of his last message to the Disney team before he died, he said, I hope to see you soon. Two biographies about the man's life printed in the 90s say his head was frozen. And multiple former Disney employees and reporters love to tell outlets like PBS that they've broken into a basement at one of these facilities and seen his body floating in a cryogenic cylinder. There's a conspiracy theory that Disney only made the movie Frozen so that when you Google Disney and Frozen, only results about the movie come up and not his head. We actually do know the truth about this. So before I tell you, make sure you follow so you finally know the crazy conspiracy theory about each of these celebrities and request who you want to see next. His death certificate confirmed that his whole body was cremated and the cryogenic facility said that they don't have his body. I don't know if I believe that the cryogenic facility is stating they don't have him. I thought this was pretty common knowledge, to be honest. I thought that was kind of a done deal. And one day he was going to come back and make more Disney movies for us. With subliminal messaging. Speaking of his dad. You know when you see photos of Walt Disney at Disneyland, all of his cigarettes are photoshopped out? He's got his two fingers like this, but there's nothing in his hand. Oh. So you see him there standing there like this. In all these pictures, he's sitting around like this, but... Whoa. Yeah, because he died from lung cancer. Oh, wow. He died from smoking cigarettes. Damn. Smoked himself to death. Wow. It wasn't that old either. I want to say he was in the 60s. I want to say... Bravo. You know what I mean? If if someone has that much power and ability to go back and Photoshop every photo that has ever been created of them and wipe the internet, although the internet was not what it is today, granted, but that is some kind of power to have every cigarette just Photoshopped off. That's That's pretty wild. And at first, I kind of didn't believe it. But you could see some smoke that's still there. The cigarette's gone, but the smoke's still there. And the fingers are in that position. I don't know. It's wild. It's wild. All right, here's one about the park itself and their policies. Dark things Disney doesn't want you to know, part 16. So today, let's expose one of Disney's very dark policies. So this policy involves all the character actors at Disney. So if you get severely injured while working there, 
No matter what, you have to stay in character. So one man before accepting the job as Water Goofy was told that in an event that he started drowning, lifeguards had to carry him away before they could remove his costume and perform CPR on him. He literally could be dying in the costume and need medical attention right away, but Disney won't allow it. Like I said, all characters need to be carried away before any sort of medical attention can be provided. Okay, I get it. They do this in order to preserve the magic at Disney. But come on, that is severely messed up. In fact, because of this policy, a lot of character actors have been severely injured and have gone on to sue Disney. If you want to see more videos like this, then follow me on YouTube. Link in bio. That's pretty crazy. The only thing I can say and play devil's advocate here in defense of Disney is at least they tell you up front, you know, this is kind of what we expect and you need to be okay with possibly getting horribly injured for the sake of the magic of Disney. Hey, come on. Now... Disney World is its own government. So basically, if your backyard belongs to Disney and they spilled trash in it, they don't have to clean it up. And you can't do anything about it because Disney is its own city with its own government. They can write building codes, sell tax-free bonds, produce electricity, condemn property. And the whole thing is run by a government board. They have elections and everything. The residents of Reedy Creek are handpicked by Disney. And hold on, Disney is allowed to have their own building permits and liquor license, among other benefits. So the main part of the story is Disney can basically do anything they want. And if Disney owns even a square foot of your property, don't buy it. Sounds like Disney has government special religious uh, allowances or something. They, they can get away with anything and basically create any rule that they want. I don't know. That's kind of wild to me. Also, whose backyard is owned by Disney? That's what I want to know. And why would they dump their trash there? It just doesn't seem logical. But now you know. With that being said, I think we've dumped on our poor Disney long enough. Here is a bit of good news. Hopefully it makes you smile. It kind of made me laugh a little. Is it because of the... This is my mom. Hold on. Uh-uh. Hi, baby! <laughs> I'm trying to work right now. You over there calling my phone. This is D'Angelo. You can say hi. And don't be holding up traffic because you got cars behind you. Did you record that? I just thought it was so cute how excited she was to pull up on her baby at work. And he immediately went into embarrassed 12 year old at school mode. And that, that was just, I thought it was funny. So that's all I've got for you guys today. Please like, subscribe, go back and check out some of the other videos. The originals aren't the best of quality. I was still kind of learning the system. They should be better off now. Um, just feel free to touch base. Let me know what you think. If there's anything that you'd like more information on or anything you'd like a little deep dive on. I certainly love doing some research and verifying stuff. So that's all I've got for you. Hope you have a lovely night. And I just want to say goodnight to my amazing grandma. I love you. See you guys.